Well, big changes for Californians who are getting unemployment benefits. Starting this week, people have to prove they're actively looking for a job or they risk losing their weekly benefits. Joining us this morning to explain more about the new requirement is employment attorney Angela Reddick Wright, founder and managing partner of the Reddick Law Group. Angela, good to see you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. All right, so can you start by walking us through what exactly has changed and why? So if we recall when the pandemic started, the um, federal government issued new regulations telling state EDDs that they had to add additional benefits to the standard benefits for individuals that are on unemployment. So what's happened recently in the state of California and in many states around the country, they're starting to um, back down or dial back on some of those federal and uh, state regulations that added to the unemployment insurance benefits. So now, starting July 11th, um, those who are currently on an unemployment will start to receive notices from the state EDD office, the Employment Development Department, stating if you're on unemployment and you would like to continue being on unemployment, then you now have to start proving that you're actually seeking work. Remember that that provision and that requirement was waived this past year, suspended this past year. So now individuals will have to start looking for work, providing proof that they're looking for work or that they're engaged in some kind of retraining or some effort to re-enter the job market. So you just kind of touched on it there, but for people who are curious, what does the EDD consider reasonable efforts to find a job? Mm -hmm. Um, for example, they're asking everyone to register with Cal Jobs, which is the state database that helps individuals introduce individuals to jobs. They're asking to show that you're actively um, putting yourself out there and marketing yourself on websites like Indeed and other websites where there are job opportunities available. You have to show that you're actively sending your resume out, that you're attempting to get interviews. Um, you have to keep a written record of, of what you're doing. So no longer is it just just based on your word, you actually have to be, in the event that you're audited, you have to show on July the 13th, July 14th, I engaged in ABCD activities mm -hmm. in order, order to find a job. If you're saying, I don't want to go back to my job, just, you know, we all know about the great resignation that's happening now. Mm -hmm. If that's your, your position, then you have to show that you're actively seeking retraining in a new industry and our addition, a new industry that would allow you to gain um, new skills. So it's Essentially, you have to provide proof. No longer can you say, you know, because of the pandemic, um, it's difficult to find a job. There are no jobs available. Um, we all know that the job market, that this is an employee's job market now. Mm -hmm. And so the EDD is saying, we want to see you actively taking advantage of those opportunities. And Angela, thank you so much for joining yeah. us this morning and for talking us through this. We appreciate that. Uh, you can get more information by going to reddicklaw.com. Angela, always good to see you. That was so helpful. Thank you.